Welcome to this video on whether to f use forward or redirect in Microsoft Outlook. So you, like myself, might have rules in place. You might need to forward send on emails to someone else. And there's a couple of different options to this. You can forward them or you can redirect them. And there's different behaviours that happen and there's different things that they can see. So I just want to go through the two examples so you can see which one might work best for you if you are sending emails on to another account. Now, it may be your account and that's great. Um, but let's have a look at them. So I'm on an email here and I can create a rule directly here or I can go to my settings, which is the cog in the top right hand corner and I can start to create rules there. Now it's easier doing it when you're on an email or anything like that that you might want to forward or redirect because it will automatically pre-populate some of the detail for you. So I can't see the rule option. I'm in an email from myself there. Um, I can't see the rule option, but if I go to the three dots towards the right hand side, I can see that I've got rules and I can create a new rule. So let's go in and have a look at this. So always move messages from Donna Sugarman. And I'm going to just click on more options because I don't just want to move them. I might want to do something else. So it's going to do a bit of a suggestion. It's going to try and say you want to move them into this folder. But actually I'm forwarding and redirecting here, so that's not going to work for me. So let's just keep it super simple. So anything from Donna Sugarman, that's my condition. Remember, you can have multiple conditions when you're going into rules. You can say it's from a person. It has this in the title. Um, anything like that, you can go in and add conditions. But it's the actions that I'm interested in here. So let's just have a look at the actions. And you want to look at the root option down towards the bottom. You can see forward to forward as attachment or redirect to. And I've always wondered what the difference between forwarding to and redirecting is. So if I forward this to someone, they will see that it's been forwarded to them. So they'll see that it's come from me to them from someone else. And I will be the person it's been sent from. So if they need to reply, they'll reply back to me rather than the original sender. So that's a really, really important bit of information there. If you forward something, you will then become the sender. So if that person needs to reply back, they will reply back to you rather than the original sender, which I think is super important. If you choose to redirect, however, it will look like it's come directly from the original sender. So it kind of bypasses your email address here and it goes straight to whoever it's been redirected to. Now, in that instance, because that person, that email account doesn't know it's been forwarded on from you, if they reply, it will rep reply back to that original sender, which is quite useful. And it's quite a great way. If you're going to need to be interacting, if you're going to need to be sending lots, then it's just going to be easier than trying to press reply and then realizing it's going to the wrong person because it's been forwarded and then having to go and copy and paste um, email addresses in there. So, if you are going to have to interact with these emails once they are sent on, then redirect is probably your best option. If you need to, it's just information, you need to really clearly see that it's been forwarded on, then use forward. So you've got two options there and whichever one you select will work really nicely. And obviously if you forward it or you redirect it, you're going to have to put in who it's going to. So you need a full email address in there and you can obviously add other actions as well so just remember the differences there forwarding you can see it's been forwarded it's almost like yeah sending it along and if you want to reply back to that message if the person who's getting it if it's someone else wants to reply back they'll actually reply back to you because the what it won't see the original sender it's almost like an email chain um but if you click on redirect it's going to come straight from that original sender and then reply backs will be much easier have a think about how that might work for you and when you're creating your rules in outlook see um make sure you set up the one that's going to work best for how you and whoever is getting that email sent to them is going to want to interact with it don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next